Hello there and welcome to another video from MaxRevs. That is my Cayman behind me, that was yesterday. I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys to give you an update of what's going on with the car. So the exhaust has been fitted. Uh, I guess things didn't turn out exactly as I've planned, but let me quickly update you on how it all went. So the exhaust was fitted yesterday. I took it to an independent garage. They've never fitted a sole performance exhaust before. So there are a few kind of issues. They kind of called me up at about 10 o'clock saying they couldn't fit the exhaust. Uh, the X pipe was basically touching a, a, the sort of bolt on the back of the transmission. So I'll try and put a picture up on the screen now. And my garage was like, listen, we don't know what to do. At this point, my heart is sinking, saying, oh my God, what is going on? So thankfully, I managed to reach out to John Gados. John, thank you so much for taking my call. Uh, essentially, uh, with John's help and some more advice to the garage, they managed to fit the exhaust. Uh, just to explain, nothing to do with the sole performance exhaust itself. Uh, essentially, the garage has never sort of fit one before. They weren't too sure how it all goes. Uh, as kind of John explained to me, you've got, got the mufflers at the back. There's quite a bit of clearance between the back plastic bumper and the exhaust, but there wasn't that much clearance between the, the X pipe. So essentially, you've got the two exhausts, it goes into an X pipe, and then the, the tips go on the back of the X pipe. So at the front end where the X pipe was kind of touching against some bolts at the back of the transmission, they couldn't get the clearance. It was actually sort of clipping one of the bolts there. Uh, they managed to rectify the situation with John's help. Once again, John, thank you. Uh, I guess if you live in the US, you're lucky because if they fitted one of these exhausts before, uh, John did explain to me it is quite a tight fitment and the garage that I was using didn't want me to leave with the X pipe touching the actual bolt because obviously if it's metal on metal contact I could get some mechanical whining noises or vibrations they weren't happy to do that but it's all done in the end so it kind of took a while to get there I also took the opportunity to get H&R anti-roll bars fitted front and back uh, so the front part of the car had to come down I had to get full wheel alignment done after that uh, we got there in the end it was a full day of labor in the garage so um, yes you know these are the things that happen I guess the guy in the garage did say to me when you do go aftermarket it's sometimes not as straightforward as obviously using original parts but hey it's fitted now here's another one I'm gonna I know I've got to bring you a video of how does it sound it sounds great but th these are the things I need to pretty much uh, look after before I can give you that full video so uh, first of all I think John's gonna I've reached out to John the the button that controls I get a key fob that controls the valves when I hit the the unlock button which is supposed to be unlock open the valves it kind of shuts the valves and when I hit the lock button to close the valves it opens the valve so I don't know if the wiring could have been inverted during the, uh, the garage install. Uh, John's looking into this for me right now. So that's one thing I need to do is you're on the move and I keep just, you look at that button and I want to click unlock and it actually closes the valves. It does sound great, but this is why you may have to wait a few days or even a few more days for me to bring you a proper video afterwards because Boris, as you know, is the race driver that's appeared on this channel. Boris has advised me not to floor the throttle 100% uh, for a while, for maybe at least a uh, thousand miles or I don't know, 500 miles. I want to try and get the miles on as much as I can. I didn't read this message until after I got home. So obviously I floored the exhaust on the way leaving the garage because that's what you want to do. You want to listen to how it sounds. Uh, what I noticed was there was a bit of a smell of uh, unburnt fuel. I'm using 99 octane V power here. At a few times I was kind of getting a bit of a smell coming into the cabin. I had the windows down the whole time because I wanted to hear the glorious note of that exhaust. Uh, I've been advised to basically do not floor the throttle 100% because I could potentially throw off the lambda sensors. He mentioned I could mark the inside of the exhaust. I just need to let things run in a little bit. This is what he did with his brand new GT4, even though it was completely you know, factory, nothing aftermarket there. So that's just type my personality type. I don't want to just cause any problems. I'm sure it's not going to cause a problem. But anyway, now that Boris, who's a certified race engineer with a mechanical background, has told me where the exhaust in as if it was a new car. So he basically said, I can do high RPM. That is not an issue because I'm not wearing the engine in. But don't dump a lot of fuel into the kind of the combustion mixture because the Lambda sensors could get confused. They've got to adjust to the new car. So that's what I'm doing. That, this is why you may have to wait until I bring 
giving you that the awesome before and after comparison it sounds great i love it it's and if it all i can say is that even with the valves closed so i feel like i'm getting double bang for my buck here with the valves closed it's a lot better than the standard exhaust it's deeper as well so i've been in a gt4 981 718 i've been in the 981 gts's with this exhaust i'm getting a much more of a lower end tone in the frequency response it's it's certainly not v8 burbly but it's not it's uh, all, all i can say is that I think all I've been listening to all this time in my car is engine noise, the induction noise in the cabin. I'm definitely getting to hear my exhaust for the very first time. I'm very excited, but just please bear with me. I don't want to cause any damage to the exhaust. You saw me handling my exhaust with rubber gloves. During the fitment process, it's got scratches, it's got marks, it's 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 been completely i say manhandled but i guess this is what happens in the garage when they have to fit it it did it's got scratches at the bottom but anyway i'll i'll learn to live with that and let it all go you can't really see it unless you put your head under the car so me holding it with gloves when it gets into a garage it's, it's fingerprints all over it so I'll, i need to wipe it clean uh, now it's all at home need to give the car get a big old wash and everything so just bear with me as i bring you these uh, these future videos the exhaust sounds great I just need to bring you that uh, video in more material and i haven't been through all the different rev ranges i haven't i haven't redlined it yet uh, I, I just wanted to get the car home it's quite a long day yesterday we didn't finish late due to some of these issues and obviously the wheel alignment had to be done as well so it's a long day i didn't get back home until about like seven ish or something like that, 7 30. enjoying life and cars to the max just wanted to explain why just ha hold on for the, the the final video that i make because even i haven't fully appreciated the exhaust and as i've said i kept hitting the uh, the unlock button and kept closing the valves and vice versa uh, i think john's going to try and sort that out for me we're just trying to figure out did the key forms get programmed incorrectly or whatever happened um, i just need to try and I, I keep hitting the unlock button because that's what you want to do i haven't started up the car since i haven't done a cold start i'll bring you all that material just be patient with me please i don't want to sort of do anything that causes the check engine light to come on Enjoying life and cars to the max, and thank you for bearing with me. See ya.